Hey what's up guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to get your PS4 Pro as well as your 4K HDR TV in sync with each other so they're both displaying HDR content. So this is pretty simple to do, uh, just takes a couple settings, a lot of people miss the setting that you have to change on your TV itself. Um, a lot of people just think just changing the settings on your PS4 and you're good to go. That's not the case, we still have a setting to change on our TV. Now I'll be using an LG uh, B7 TV, so this is an OLED TV. It supports HDR, it supports 10-bit HDR, uh, it's 4K, so it has all the bells and whistles and everything, and a lot of modern day TVs, uh, especially, like more of the higher end TVs especially, support all these things, so, you know, if you're willing to spend an extra few hundred dollars, you're probably going to have all of these options, so you're going to be good to go. So let's go and get started, and I'll show you how to get this enabled. Now, I don't have it enabled right now, but, so let's go into the settings and I'll show you what it would look like. So it's connected to my LG TV with you know a, a high speed HDMI cable you need to make sure that the HDMI cable itself supports 4k as well as HDR so now not all of them do uh, the one that you that comes with your PS4 should uh, and if you don't have one just order one off of Amazon just search Amazon basics uh, HDMI cable and those really cheap cables they work really well they last a long time and they support all of the you know the the modern day standards for video content. So let's go ahead and jump into the sound and screen settings and video output settings right here. And I have these all set to automatic. So resolution automatic is displaying in 4K right now. RGB range, make sure that is automatic. HDR, make sure that's automatic. Deep color output, we need to make sure this is automatic as well. Um, super sampling mode, we're not going to deal with that at all today. Uh, and then, so video output information. Let's go ahead and jump into that and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see right here, it has a resolution of 4K. It has the color format of YUV420, uh, HDCP 2.2. Um, and then it shows information down here that it says HDR supported. Now, technically it is displaying in HDR right now, but it's not displaying in 10-bit HDR. I think it's only displaying uh, in 8-bit right now. I might have that backwards, but um, I'll show you this video. If you follow the steps, uh, you'll get the best picture possible with your games. So. That's all that we need to make sure of. That's pretty much it. So uh, remember that color format is YUV420. Um, so let's go back out of these settings. And we're going to want to get our TV remote and we're going to want to go into the settings of our TV. So again, I'm using an LG TV. Uh, most LG TVs will have this exact same menu screen. So, you know, don't worry about that. If you're using a different TV, such as like a Samsung TV that supports HDR, you're probably going to have the same similar setting, but I'm just not too sure how to get there because I don't have a Samsung TV. So the first thing that will pop up is the picture modes. Uh, if you go into the all settings, we're going to need to go and jump over to general and then scroll all the way down. And then the second to last option at the bottom is HDMI Ultra HD Deep Color. Choose that. Um, and then the only HDMI source that you can change on this screen is the one that's active right now. So I have my PS4 Pro plugged into HDMI 3. So HDMI 3 is the only option that I can choose right now. If I went over to HDMI 4, which is my uh, Apple TV 4K, uh, which you know also supports HDR, then I could change that this option. But I'm on HDMI 3 right now, so this is all I get. So go ahead and flip that on. Press OK here. It's just telling you that if your device doesn't support it, you know your screen just might be blank, and that's it. Um, so just keep that in mind. But we should be good here, so it's enabled. Let's go and back out. Let's go back to our PS4. Now, if we go back to the video output information, you can see the color format right now is RGB. So that's different. Um, but pretty much everything else is, you know, the same. The bottom section, the available frequencies for 4K output look a little bit different. But you know, that's how it should be. If you want the best picture for your games, that is, uh, this is how it should look when you're not in a game. So, but you know, there's a little trick to it. Uh, if when you go and jump into a game, let's say FIFA 19, which supports 4K HDR, in order for this to, you know, in order for us to validate that it's using the best picture quality possible, as you can see in the upper right corner, it says HDR. Um, but we're going to want to go back to those settings again and make sure that the color format is correct. So the game is running in the background. Let's go back to settings. If we scroll down to sound and screen, video output settings, video output information. Now as you can see the color format is YUV422. So 
this supports 4K HDR at 60 hertz, um, and the color format will be this instead of RGB um, due to HDMI 2.0 transfer speed limitations. I was basically just reading that sentence, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, the YUV 422 HDR is the one that you want when you have a game open, um, and then pretty much everything else will be the same on here. But the color format, YUV 422 HDR, is what you want when you have a game open. Uh, when you're on the PlayStation's menu screen, it should be RGB. But that's pretty much it. Now you're good to go. You're good to play your 4K games in 10-bit HDR or 8-bit or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure it's 10, but um, yeah. So it'll look really good. Trust me. Just need to follow these settings and you should be golden. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.